What is up y'all? So my family and I just returned from our summer vacation in Orlando, Florida and we thoroughly enjoyed ourselves. But you know, one question that I get asked often is how can I vacation or enjoy a holiday or a birthday or a special event or season and still stay on track with my weight loss journey y'all and my response may shock some of you usually i tell most people that i work with is to just enjoy yourself and don't worry about your weight loss life is short and i don't want to spend the precious time that i have with my family or friends worried about whether or not i'm getting enough protein or worried about the amount of calories that that's in the food and i know we are on this journey to better health and better wellness but y'all use your own vacations that's not what i am worried about i just want to enjoy life and to live and enjoy every precious moment and usually on vacations and like holidays and birthdays y'all i really let go and i just dive all in i really go all in and usually i'm eating things that i typically don't eat snacks that are normally not in the house in at least in the quantity <laughs> that i have around those times i will go all in um like oreos they're just not allowed in the house like the original oreos hold up those double stuff like oreos are not allowed in the house on a normal basis but like during vacation honey i have it all so it is really like no holes barred for me i just let go and really enjoy myself now there are consequences to going that route why i am enjoying the moment and i am living life and loving life your weight will go up because you're eating more food you have more carbs in you some of that will be water weight and some of it will not so and i actually thought about this year not going all in with the food because i am much heavier than i typically am going on vacation um if you watch some of my i can't remember which video but i talked about wanting to gain weight i got down to 138 pounds that was too small for me my doctor didn't want me that small she didn't want me to go below 155 so i've been working on coming back up and 170 was my cap i didn't want to go higher than 170 but we had a few setbacks in there in there and life kind of got in the way so i weighed in before vacation just a few days ago at 180 pounds so that is not the heaviest i've been um but i weighed in at 180 and so i thought that maybe i could keep it to maybe just a five pound weight gain for summer vacation but when i checked yesterday i was at 193 pounds i did that 193 is where i ended up after vacation because i did i went all in and i just I enjoyed everything and so I will bring that back down I think I'm gonna bring it back down to around 165 170 we'll see how that goes it'll be another video for another day because I'm going to take you on that journey with me as I roll it back down but I know for some people going all in is not going to work for them I had some clients that I knew if they went all in that they would not come back out. So if that is you and that's your mindset, you just got started, if you go all in and that scale goes up, you're just gonna be thrown all off track. If that is your thinking and if that may affect you that way, I would not suggest doing that or going that route. I would suggest moderation. So everything in moderation. Maybe having a little bit of, you know, things that you may typically not have. Um, or if you know that you're going to crush a buffet that night maybe have a lighter breakfast or instead of having you know chips with your sandwich for lunch skip the chips we went to a brazilian steakhouse and it was so good some i didn't know some stuff that i was eating but it was good and there were um there were plenty of healthier options there i chose not to get 
all of the healthier options. I just made that choice and I chose to keep eating. So by the time I left there, I was stuck. But I had a choice that I could have made to stay on track if I wanted to, but I did not make that choice. And even with the other restaurants that we ate at, y'all, there were plenty of healthier options on the, or more nutritious options on the menu. I just chose not to have those nutritious options. So there are definitely ways to make it work if you want to make it work to stay on track. And you just have to make those choices for yourself and not to stress yourself out. But usually I don't eat out much because I am, you know, I try to watch my weight and what's in my food. So when I am on vacation, I just, I just live it up y'all <laughs> I really do so but I hope this video has helped you one way or the other if you decide to go the all-in route or if you decide to stay on track whatever it is I hope you got some value out of it. and if you did please smash that thumbs up button letting me know that you enjoyed it and you got something out of it and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and soon I am going to post a series of videos to show you how I am going to bring my weight back down to a more acceptable level um so hopefully I will have that out to you guys soon and remember you're blessed you're beautiful you are strong you got this and I'll see you at the next video bye y'all